And News 10's Jeff Marr made a trip to one of the many fish farms in our area to see how it goes from the farm to your fork. Well, when you think of farm to fork, a lot of people just think it's all about produce. That's not the case. It's also about protein. And that's why I came out here to Slough House, to the Passmore Ranch, to get an idea of what it's like to be a fish farmer. And for those of you who don't know, yes, fish farmers are all throughout our area. And I've got Michael Passmore here, owner and operator of the Passmore Ranch. And tell us what we're seeing here. Well, we're loading up the... Uh six pound or so uh, juvenile sturgeon for the dinner there at uh, Tower Bridge that uh, we're gonna be doing for this week. He told me he's got about 75 of these fish in the bin. He's throwing them in the tank and then tell us where the process goes from there to get it on the tip of your fork. Well, we're gonna take these and we're going to bleed them and then we're gonna go ahead and eviscerate them as well so that they're ready for uh, Patrick Mulvaney and Ravine and the rest of the guys that are gonna be doing that dinner. I understand they're gonna be pulling them in a nice little circle there, uh -huh. slow roasting them and served whole right in the center of the table. Our key component to what we do is we don't take it out of the water until that chef's ordered it from us. So if, they, if, if it's not ordered, it just stays in the water, keeps growing. So you're saying that I could catch these fish in the Sacramento River? If you're good enough. If I'm good enough. Are you a good fisher? I'm not, I would be a terrible fisherman. <laughs> no, terrible fisherman. That's funny because I'm terrible as well. I like oh, to know okay. where my fish are uh -huh. and that's why I don't go out and fish for them. Now, what I would be good at is handling that slippery fish. I think you should. You think I should? I, I absolutely think okay, you should. Okay, I'm gonna go do Rudy, it. Rudy, can you teach him how to handle one of those things? I'm gonna go do it. <laughs> You're gonna use two hands. <laughs> but it does, he just, they don't want to be picked up. They're strong. They are very strong animals. These animals live to over, look at there. Ah! Ah! There you go, buddy. Let me grab you. Let me grab you. Ah! Ah, it's so, <laughs> don't bite me. Ah! <laughs> ah! Take her part. I'm gonna grab ah! Come on! Hey! Oh! I did it quick. He I did, did it. it quick. <laughs> All right, so that just goes to show you never give up. You just keep at it, be persistent with no matter what you do, and it also goes to show that I am an excellent fisherman, that I can actually catch a fish with my bare hands. Fish wrangler extraordinaire, Jeff. <laughs> edit out the 20 plus takes it took <laughs> right. to do that. Uh, right. Looking at some of the farm to fork events happening today at five o'clock, the Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services will hold a food demonstration where you can see the fresh produce the food bank distributes in the community. And be sure to check out some local farmers markets where you can shop and take home locally grown produce. There are two in the downtown area today at Roosevelt Park and Fremont Park. And then this evening, the Sacramento Natural Foods Co-op is hosting a Mediterranean inspired feast celebrating California olive oils. I had a great shoot out there in Slough House. Uh, I wanna thank everybody who was a part of that. And guys, you probably didn't know this, but that fish left me with a pretty big gash on my thumb hmm. as I was doing that from the scales. So uh, yeah, don't, about try, that, don't try that at home or in the Sacramento River. No, yeah. do not try that at home. <laughs> and we continue our coverage of Farm to Fork Week featuring the important work that fish farmers do right here in the valley. And our very own Jeff Marr showed us how hard it is to catch a fish with your bare hands. Now he tries his luck with the ducks. And we're continuing our coverage from Slough House at the Passmore Ranch. You know, you guys already got to see my excellent fishing skills. Uh, I'm here with Michael Passmore, owner and operator of Passmore Ranch, and you know, I did it one-handed. You did. And I know you're still impressed by that. Fish wrangler extraordinaire. Yeah. We're gonna really see if you stuff. can one-hand this duck. I don't know if I can one-hand the duck. Um, they don't prefer to be held by the neck anyways. Uh, probably not, probably not. But uh, you know, it's not just about fish on your ranch. It, it's also about chickens and hens. Why do you have them out here? It is. They're, they're part of our push to be a little bit more rounded and biodynamic, so to speak. What the, what the ducks and the chickens do is they uh, contribute to our uh, pest control with bugs and such. Uh, as they grow up, these are all very new to us. Uh, this year we'll be uh, stationing them all over the ranch. And uh, what do you use the eggs for? Are, are, do, you, do you ship those out as well? Omelets. 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 Okay. Yeah. Hard boiled. To uh, restaurants, Sacramento area restaurants yeah. get the eggs? Yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be getting those out to our chefs here in Napa and Sacramento, Vegas, Texas, all over the place. And how often do you get to go to these restaurants and try your own product? 
Not as much as I'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to prove to you that I'm a farmer. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, born in Beaumont, Texas, so I, I kind of know Are what I'm doing. Are you a Texican? Yes, I I'm am. I'm a Texican. You're a Texican, I too? Am. Well, I'll am. tell you what. You've got your buddy right here, uh -huh. but there's a problem here on the ranch. There's one way back there, there and so I'm going to be tasked with rounding her up and bringing her here to the hen house. How does that go sound? Go get confit for you. Is I that got a good Pau test? Gras and you go get confit there. Confit is her confit. name? Confit. Come here. I got gotcha. you. It's okay. See, look, I'm nice. I'm nice. I'm nice. That's all right. I got gotcha. you. It's okay. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I never thought I'd be able to one hand a fish and chase a duck. Rocky Balboa took him a long time to catch that. Remember that scene where he's going after the chicken? They reunited together. Reunited at last. Comfey and foie gras. Two friends. Together. And I've made a friend too here at the Passmore Ranch. We'll send it back to you guys. All we need is some orange glaze. We're good to go, right? I guess so. <laughs>